Okay, this presentation is a short one. It's about a new Monte, a new module that Monte is creating, Monte Darwinpool, the one who's creating the 41CL. So, um, what's the 41? Uh, what's the 41 Max ROM? It's basically uh, it brings some of the 41CL technology to all 41s. So basically, when you add the module, if you have a 41C, it's going to add four memory modules. So it's equivalent to the quad module. If you have a C or a CV, it's going to add a time module. Also, the X function memory module. If you have a CX, it's already there. You're not, it will not add that. But it will add the extended memory module. Um, and it had, uh, on all 41, it's going to add uh, 124 expanded memory registers. Uh, that's coming from the CL. And it can have eight page, eight 4K pages of QRUN and four 4K pages of bank QRUN. I'm going to show you what's each of these one in the later slide. So that's what the module is doing and have the first version here. Um, it's working. There are some, issue, some issues. Uh, Monte has already created a version B, completely rewrote the microcode on it. So this one is uh, it's outdated already. Uh, he's using an FPGA inside and it's a write once FPGA. So uh, you cannot erase and reprogram it. So um, that's it. So basically, um, it, when you uh, add a module, depending on which port you're going to add it, it's going to add the timer in page 5. And it's going to add the X function and the max module, max run, into the higher page of the port that it's been inserted to. If you have a CX, the time and X function is already there. It will not add them. Okay, but if you have a C or a CV, it's going to add that. Okay, the max module is always added. Okay, it's the function there that allow you to use uh, the functionality of the module. Uh, the RAM register. The, uh, the module is going to add, this is a sample of what could be had depending on the setup that you have. If you have a 41C with one memory modules, two memory modules, three uh, CV, CX, what the module is adding as uh, RAM registers. Okay, so it's basically trying to fill up everything that you can. So it's like if you have a module with a time x function, 2x memory inside, the quad, and everything. So it's detected what's already there, it's not mapping what's there, and it's adding what's missing. Okay, it's also adding, this is coming from the CL, expanded memory. Expanded memory is adding three times, three blocks of 124 uh, registers. Okay, and this is the equivalent of what you already have with the basic 41 when it's full. So it's adding those uh, expanded memory. Now, what can you do with those expanded memory? You can back up your 41 into an expanded memory. So you can back up the status registers, the extended memory, the main memory to it. So you can have programs you set up back up into Y memory one or swap with what's already there. So you can have like multiple personality of the 41 in like a three or four different personality. So that's Y registers. So that's one thing you can do with it. And here you got uh, on the uh, left here, the function that you can do. So it's basically what you see on the image is the same function there. You can copy from main memory to expanded memory or from or swapping, same thing for all the other ones. So you get the status, 
the main memory and the expanded memory that can be copy, uh, recalled, or swapped. Uh, you can also use the expanded memory as data registers, but that only one works with block one. All the functions there here on the left and at the top here are bar, bar, based on the block one. But what you can do is you can, you can use a block one and swap the block one with block two and then use now the block, what was in block two in block one and you got another 124,000 registers. So instead of having, you, you can have like three times, 3,000 data registers. So if you do data collection and things like that, this is come, becoming very interesting. You can do this when a fully one CL. It's just that, that uh, those functions were made by Angel and Monte uh, for the fully one CL and Monte uh, with Angel, I'm assuming here, uh, decide to do this, to, to reuse this on the max module. <laughs> I mean, if you think about that, there are prompting functions, right? So when you do STO or recall, there's already three prompts yeah. from 000 to 999. So it would have been completely unprofessional, though unusual, to go to four prompts for register 10,055. What you can do if you do uh, uh, EEX or something, you can, it will show you one and then you can address up to 124. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a stealth feature. Okay. That I discovered easily. <laughs> you got QRAM. QRAM are basically what an MLDL is giving you, or if you're using an NOV module. Uh, or uh, MS, uh, MLDL 2000, it would, you, you, you could have Q RAM pages that has a 10-bit RAM pages. This is QRAM, and they're all in port one only. And you it can activate, uh, there's eight pages that you can activate uh, upon needed. If you don't use it, you deactivate them. If you need it, you can activate one page or the other but they are fixed pages. So what you can do here is basically if you want to, um, we are developing a ROM, you can use that uh, to put things. If you're using uh, RAM box ROM, you can use those page as data. If you have, a, you're loading the ROM from EPACs, you can use, you can use those QROM as EPACs data. It's like normal QRAM in the 41. Now, the bank memory can be put anywhere in all the four banks, in all the pages. So, but there are only four banks like that, four pages that you can put that. And you got function again to manage that. And you can do configuration here, like if you want to have, uh, at the right, if you want to have four bank for one page, you're going to activate one page memory that's always in bank one, but you can, you're going to activate the bank memory for the page, let's say page eight here, for bank two, three, and four. And if you want to use library four, then you're going to have, to, you're going to activate, configure also a bank memory in page four. So that's how, what you can do here uh, with, it's addressing main, mainly microcode developer here. If you want to do right testing and stuff. Uh, or you can simulate here on the left what, what the ZPROM is doing. Uh, you can have two pages on uh, eight and nine and then a, another bank and eight and nine again, again, switch uh, the pages, the banks, sorry. So that's what you can do here. And you can query also the module. You can query the configuration. You can also do conversion of hexadecimal to decimal, and then you can address things there and then write a, a focal program 
that are handling decimal value and converting that into hexadecimal in order to use the uh, function of the uh, memory module to do the recall and store and whatever that's needed to do. You can also, uh, that's the latest version, Does, I don't have this, but on the version B that is developing is adding also the copy of the RAM page into uh, HPIL. And it's using the eRAMCO format. So uh, if you want to copy, you're developing a ROM, you want to copy back, uh, you're copying to HPIL. Directly or tape at floppy or with the pillbox with the virtual drive. So, and you can copy bank. If you want to copy a module to it, you put the other module, you can copy a bank right away. And uh, it's going to be stored at that. Uh, it's not a uh, FRAM inside, it's standard RAM. So if you remove the module, you lose everything. So it must be there. If you lose power, you're going to lose everything again. Okay, so uh, because all the RAM is coming from the FPGA inside. So, um, but no, normally like a 41CL, if you're removing the battery extendedly, you're going to lose every, all, the, all the RAM data. Same technology, same uh, plus and minus that goes with it. Uh, how much and when? I, we, I, I announced, uh, Monte gave me a price for the HHC and after that he realized that this price didn't include a lot of cost. So uh, right now it's TBD because uh, the, the initial batch that he got, very small one, when he check again in order to get others, the price was not the same as the initial batch. So the price will be probably around something 150 US, but could be higher and lower. I don't have a clue here. And uh, uh, it was announced lower than that, but I really don't. It, it could be anything up to $200. I don't know. It's, it's going to depend on how much the component and everything is going to be when it's going to be ready. It could be ready in six months, three months. Right now, its target was to be ready this year, by the end of the year. Uh, the new revision, uh, it's, it's completed to my knowledge. He's testing it right now, so we are in October. End of October, beginning of November, it's possible that the module could be available this year. Um, and it's hoping, he is hoping that it's available. So when is, is going to know the price of the component and uh, the RAM is going to be debugged uh, and ready, then uh, it's going to be announced. And... That basically it. Any other questions? Yeah. I think this is an awesome movie. I think it's fantastic that he was, once he was able to, to feed all that information and, and, and staff in this in footprint format. I, 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 I am not with it. But it's different, one, it's different version than what Diego is offering. It, it, it's like a compliment. It's, very, it's, it's like having part of a CL into every 41. And for me, the data collection, the, the, the 124 register that you can swap so you can do data collection, that would have been fantastic in the 1980s. I know. People were doing survey, surveying stuff or uh, things like that. That would have been really... I mean, it's never too late. And also, I think it's a steep deal for that. Right? It's really gives you so much capability. Yeah. And this is just my unintended comment. But again, the price is going to... He's trying to bring down the price as much as he can. But a, until he knows for sure, yeah. So the, so the only way to get uh, ROMs in it, ROM copies, is to get it from outside, HPIL, or copy it from other device. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, you can, you can type it directly if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, what, what you were, you were, there is not, there is not, fla there is no flash in it. So it's not like Diego uh, NOV module or Clonix. 
yet you put an adapter in your program into it. There is nothing. It's really a RAM module. Yeah, what's what, it's expansion is RAM. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's adding. It's trying to complete, trying to create a CX from from the C or CV. Okay, it's pulling up the RAM and adding the time the time module and the X function module and filling the missing extended memory. But except for the, and you have the the max RAM. But mostly, when you look at things, it's mostly RAM everywhere. Expanded memory, extended memory, quad memory, uh, and the timer chip. Ooh. Sorry? It has it all. Yeah. Other question? No? I told you that this was shorter than the other ones.